Hello everyone, this is Elijah and I'm just making a video for the Mother's Hands team that's going to meet on Wednesday. Now in the last uh, couple of days, I've had a bit, a bit of a breakthrough in terms of making interfaces for the different perspectives in the inflow matrix operating system. And so what this means is I'm going to put 10 different interfaces inside the, um, let me show them to you. So this is the synergy wheel map in the inflow matrix operating system. The research, infrastructure, learning, operations, creativity, synergy, services, marketing, stewardship, and communication in the middle. And so the idea is that this is an operating system that can run mother's hands and run everything that has to happen inside the business can be organized within these 10 different subsystems. And so what I'm going to present to you are 10 interfaces that match to this, that we can then choose which perspective or which interface or which part of the business we feel we can put our contribution within. And so James has to make a business plan and presentation by the end of June. And so what we're looking at is how to divvy up the work and how to look at what are your, your expertise, and then how can that be brought into the business plan and the presentation in, in the in creation of the James Water business plan. So in order to do so, uh, this is a little innovative idea in that you can take an interface, put it into Zoom, put it in your background, and then everyone can see which perspective you're coming from. And then we can see everyone on the team where your interests are and then how to divvy up the work. And so that is gonna happen this week if you are open to doing that. Communication is in the middle. It's connected to all the cycles. So whoever is in the communication booth is the communication officer like on Star Trek. And they're the one that are making sure that all the conversations are happening, all the information flow has to happen and all the outside people that have to be communicated with are communicated with. It's a very important position to make sure that everyone is getting the information that they need at the right time. There's a lot of research that needs to be done. Uh, operations have to be figured out. Uh, we have to find out where to purchase all the equipment and what experts to bring in and what information is missing. And so who is going to be inside research in the next little while and what needs to get done. Whoever is here is really good at uh, the financial accounting side of seeing how all of the resources come together to build the infrastructure. Essentially, we are building an infrastructure to take vertical farms across Canada into every reserve. So whatever we're doing is going to be uh, replicated after we figure out how to do one of them, then we can do many of them. But we really have to get concise in how all the pieces and parts come together and how do we build this infrastructure to do what we want to do. This is like the human resources department. The person here is very good at motivating, very good at finding out how to get the people in the business system to reach the goals and mission that the captain has set. And so it's like being the first officer on the team, a very important role. Here we have the operations and the activities that have to take place on a daily basis. And here is what runs the whole business system. And you need someone here who's a person of action and someone who likes to be on top of things, someone who's gonna be running the plant someone who knows exactly what to do, when to do, how to do it, and likes to do it, and can oversee others. Whoever is here is gonna be like the grand gardener, the person who knows how to grow everything, the person who knows how to, to build and create the products that are necessary, and how to build the whole system together. And so this is more from a seasonal point of view, obviously, because the growing cycles are gonna be different. And so whoever, whoever is here is uh, wants to get their their hands in the ground to grow the food and all the other things that have to take place in order for that to happen. Here we have the direct connection to the customers, wherever the customers are of the system. And so this is on a minute to minute basis. This is being tracked very fast. And so this is like, how do you interact with who and what has to get done in order to deliver your service to the customers? So this is point of contact with the customer Whoever likes that type of connection would be here. 
marketing is in the present moment and marketing is, you know, the person who's a marketer can, can find out who needs to buy your products, you know, how to get those people to buy the products and uh, how to deliver the products to them. And they're, they're very fast, they're quick, they can make things happen uh, in, in, in days that might take others months or years to make it happen. And so the, the marketer is outside in the system, making sure that all the products and services of the system is being sold to whoever needs to, to get it. And finally, what we have at stewardship, uh, this is where James sits in terms of being the captain of the ship and uh, making sure that all the agreements are being upheld and making sure that uh, the, the ship is making those agreements and making sure that all the I's are, are dotted and the T's are crossed and everything else that has to take place in the whole business system. And so these were <clears throat> 10 different interfaces. I will put them into the Facebook group and then you can choose which one and put it into Zoom in the background. If you don't know how to do that, you go to uh, lower left, say uh, where you can mute your, your videos right around there. There's a little button you can press and it says virtual background. And then you press that and then there's a place to add image and then you can add these images in and you can take more than one. You can shoot, you can change them as you, as you change your perspective from the team meeting but this will give us all an idea of who's interested in what, and then we can figure out what work has to get done within each of those categories. There's so many different ways to configure these uh, interfaces, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna figure out how to configure these interfaces specifically for mother's hands <clears throat> so that the, the business can operate within the inflow matrix system. It's a software system that is being built as we speak, and it's a very exciting time to build software these days. So. Thank you for listening and uh, I'll see you on Wednesday.